Welcome back to a new episode. This one's going to be very interesting because I've just returned from CES 2023. Now, CES is the Consumer Electronics Show. Everybody in the industry who has to do with innovation and technology is there, primarily because this exhibition is the event that demonstrates anything that's cutting edge in the world of technology, in the world of electronics, in the world of innovation. Now, most importantly, we get to see what the greatest minds with the biggest brands are actually working on, what they're revealing. So in this episode, I wanna cover some of the highlights in this year's show. But first of all, why was I there? Now, the reason that I was there was to reveal an innovative new product called Baby Arc, which I designed. Baby Arc is the world's safest children's car seat. Now, it might seem like a big stretch to say that, but it actually is. Now, the reason why the Baby Arc is so innovative is because it's using military grade technology to absorb a huge amount of energy in case of an impact, which is directly related to the way a woodpecker absorbs impacts when it beats its beak against the side of a tree. Nature has had millions of years <laughs> to figure out the best way to protect our young before they're born. So the baby arc at the beginning stages of its theme selection was based around the shape of an egg. Of course, the ergonomics are being suited to a seated child of different ages, but the overall theme, the overall intelligence, I guess, behind the design of the baby seat comes directly from the egg. So how do you know that all this talk about nature design inspired by the egg and uh, by the woodpecker is not just designer fluff? Well, it actually won and was appreciated and validated by winning the CES Innovation Award in the automotive safety segment. So that's quite a statement, quite a, a proof of being on the right track in terms of innovation. That was my personal highlight of CES 2023 and topped off my week very nicely. Let's have a look at some of the other highlights of CES 2023. Starting off with the BMW and the revelation of their iVision D, D-E-E. -E. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I've been saying for a long time that the next big step in vehicle design is increased consumer customization and more specifically the ability to change your vehicle to whatever color you choose at whim. Now that type of technology has been kicking around for some time now, so it's been a waiting game to see which company will be the first to implement it. The iVision D has 240 individual panels that can be color customized to your individual whim. With those 240 customizable panels, you have the ability to turn your car into a Mondrian painting on wheels. This artistic approach is in no way removed from the DNA of BMW, namely because for decades, BMW has been doing a line of cars called the art cars, which allows different artists to put their interpretations into the color palette of these vehicles. Now, the only difference is that you get to be the Warhol or the Jeffrey Coons of your own vehicle. Personally, I love it. I think that anything that adds the ability to customize your own vehicle is a good thing. It opens up the range of possibilities and makes it much more interesting from a, an aesthetic point of view. I also think that what's quite interesting on the interior is the different levels of displays that you can actually have on the inside of the car. You go from having a windscreen and a dash panel is basically analog and increasing to the fifth level. You go through ranges where you increase the ambient, the virtual environment of your car up to the top level where, for example, the whole windscreen becomes a, a virtual screen where you actually have a vision of the real world, but in a digital form in front of you. In including, which is pretty strange, I'm not sure who would go for this, but you could have an avatar on the side of your screen showing or displaying to the outer world your image of your avatar. So not the real you, just how you want the world to see you. So that could be quite interesting. Uh, I'm sure the range of images could be extreme. I also think it would make 
the perfect getaway vehicle. Another highlight that stands out for me from the CES show is not so much the vehicle itself, but from the experience I had. I met the CEO of a new startup urban vehicle company. He introduced me to the one-to-one -one scale model that they had on the stand. This was a people mover using what's called level four autonomous driving. A level four is where you would have somebody perhaps in a back office somewhere controlling the movements of the vehicle, making sure that everything is done correctly and properly. Level five is where the vehicle operates 100% on its own and makes all the decisions on its own. So there is quite a bit of distance between level four and level five. So this CEO asked me what was my opinion of the vehicle and I had to be honest with him and I essentially gave him the message that this, in my opinion, was a box on wheels, to which he obviously was taken aback, but I had to be truthful. And his response was, we really don't care too much about the design of the vehicle. It's more about its function. Now I can understand that point of view from an engineering side. He was obviously coming from the angle of engineering, but there's no reason that a vehicle does not have to look good my motto is no ugly cars. Now you might have a little bit of uh, righteousness in what he's saying, but again, if we look back in history, like in the Renaissance era, you design your social spaces to reflect beauty, then that is what the people who use it will come to appreciate. If we want a vibrant and spirited society, it's important that we imbue these same principles into the products that we create. So in summary, a mind-boggling event. If you have the time, definitely check out the information that's provided on any of the many YouTube channels covering CES. Go there and you will find nothing but cutting edge innovation and technology and design. It was a fantastic show and it was an amazing experience to have the Baby Art team leave with such a prestigious award. Hope that we can repeat the experience with more products in the future. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell icon next to it. See you soon.